Alright guys, HPFC here and welcome back to Majora's Mask. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, get back up to the grave site. Get some of that lovely spring water. Put the old uh, ones of truth there. So again, the uh, the way up is uh, right, left, right. Yeah, I guess it helps a little if you've got um, two bottles at this point. Although it's no big deal if you only got one. But let's go ahead and uh, scoop it up. Aim to the other one because it had it'd already uh, gone back to normal water. As I said last time, it doesn't stay hot for long. So right, anyway, well, there's uh, spring water in hand. Quickly smash on the old bunny hood. And uh, get the hell on over. Well, head in the direction of uh, Goron Village. Yeah, I've got to be really quick. So again, the bunny hood helps. Told you, it's one of the, it's one of the most useful and best masks in the game. How is it not? It just makes life so much easier. Fuck off, Tech Tight. I ain't got time for you today. Right, so first thing you probably want to do is uh, unfreeze this uh, glacier over here. You can get down this hole. This helps as well if you only got one bottle because underneath here, yep, there's another hot spring. So Yeah, you unfreeze that, and then that saves you having to go all the way back um, to get another uh, bottle of spring back at the graveside. Because we also need to unfreeze this Goron over here. But as you can see, I would have been able to do it. Use my other bottle, but let's not show you that. So we uh, can only assume this is the Goron Elder, since he looks old as shit. I think. Um, in the N64 version, depending on the day, his location's different as to where he might be. But I think he's always in the same place. At least it seems that way on the 3DS version. So he might actually... I think he could be further on up in this area. Or he might be actually in uh, Mountain Village. I think it's another place he can appear. As you say, I just got the notification there saying that the spring water has gone back to normal. So yeah, shenanigans going down at Snowhead. That's why, you know, winter has come. Yeah, so it is his son, the little baby Goron. But hang on a minute. Like, how old is this guy? How can he be his dad? He's ancient. Maybe a great great grandparent, but good god. And also, I don't. Aren't the Gorons all male? How do they reproduce? <laughs> I don't know. It's not things you think about as a kid. You get older, you, you know, you think, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? Oh, well, alright then. Yeah, he's just gonna sort of fob you off. So, of course, we smack on the Goron mask. We'll get something out of him then. Yeah, once again, thinking we're Dom uh, Domani, who is actually dead. Easy there, you give yourself a heart attack. Don't 
him. Look at the state of him. How's he gonna help anything? He's a mess. Ooh, look at that. Whipped out his little drum he just carries around. Of course he does. Sounds like the world's cheapest drum, doesn't it? <laughs> like a drum you could buy from Poundland. Alright. Stand up, someone needs to get this guy home. Like, really? Alright. So I'm going back to the village. The Goron village. So you can talk to the gatekeeper up there to open it as we've seen before. Or you can open it yourself. Since you're a Goron, just use your pound. And there you go. And there's another save point in there on it, but again, just a regular, not an owl one you can transport to. Alright, I can actually get a little bit of extra dialogue to talk to some of these guys. Didn't show you this last time, but this is the uh, Goron shop down here. But looks like they're in trouble getting any stock. Let's have a quick look inside. Yep. Goron there looking fed up, wondering where he went wrong with his life. The only it sells right now is bombs, arrows, and some red potion. But yeah, that's the shop there if you want to use it. Alright, let's see if we can get this baby to shut up. Because, I mean, there's nothing worse than a baby crying, is there? It's something that really just <laughs> penetrates your ears, isn't it? Every fucking flight I've ever been on, there's a baby crying, and there's someone, some annoying little kid, kicking my seat. Every flight ever, I swear to God. One of the reasons I hate flying. The intro of this lullaby we got, which I forgot already. What is it? Yeah. Oh, guy's attention, and he has stopped crying. And also, uh, to get that intro for the Goron's lullaby. You have to have come and seen the baby go on first before you speak to the the elder, otherwise you won't get it. Whoa! That was unexpected.
And he's out. Grief. Oh, that's that problem taken care of. Now, as you may notice, the uh, candles here have been lit. Just gonna allow us to do something, so we're gonna get the. Uh, bunny hood on and you want some uh, deco sticks if you haven't got any you should be able to find some in the pots all right so i'm going to quickly light my stick for some reason this carpet's slippy here i don't know why but oh god then we're going to go around and quickly light the torches again significantly easier if you got your bunny hood And I pressed the wrong button. I'm just pouring water on the floor. That may have just cost me. We'll see. So just follow the room round. I'm gonna get three down here. There we go. But yeah, it's gonna get the chandelier thing spinning. So they're uh, not book entry. All right. Well, with that spinning, I'm gonna do now. I can get magic jaws in there, and they'll keep uh, respawning. Back to Gorom. What we're gonna do now is roll at full speed and smash um, the jaws there on the. Uh, Chandelier thing because one of them's got something inside it. But this can be a little bit of annoying. Alright. Alright, so we want to go full speed. See spikes come out. There you go. Oh my god. Right, that never happens. That might be the first time I have ever got that on the first try. Normally for me, I break all the jaws and then get that one last. It's a pain in the arse trying to hit something when you've just got like one jaw going round. It's really hard to hit and get the timing right because normally it's on the other damn side when you. But yeah. <laughs> Once you've smashed the right jaw, uh, a rock sirloin will come falling out. Again, when you're spinning at full speed like that, with your spikes out, that does take up magic. So again, those jaws right below me there, they keep respawning every time you enter the kids' room, come back out. So you can just keep refilling it up. But yeah, uh, we're going to take this to, if you remember in the last video, we saw the uh, hungry Goron who's stuck on the uh, ledge. Well, this is for him. Fortunately, this is as fast as you move <laughs> while holding this. So it's a bit of a tedious journey there, but could be worse. Just ignore all the enemies. So it's back to the uh, mountain village. There he is over there. I just want to whiz it up to him. There you go.
Share return is going to give you the frog that are on his head, which is the Dongaro's mask. Got a frog choir there. So, right now, that mask, um, it's got no use, nothing we could do with it. But uh, it will come in useful quite a bit later on in the game. And he's off. The Goron is saved. Alright. So now, turn back into Link just temporarily. And return to Clock Town. I can see Mountain uh, Village. What point has been added to the map? That is the temple up there as well. Snowhead. Take a little monies out of the bank. Let's take a hundred. Hopefully that'll do. Alright. It's now time to play another mini game. Again, over in uh, East Clock Town. But it's not going to be open now since it's the. Uh, it's, well, it's late at night, so. I don't think it's open. Yeah, 6 a.m. till 10. Alright, we'll... Uh, we'll jump forward to dawn of the second day. Treasure chest shop. Just these little treasure mini games are kind of a Zelda tradition, aren't they? At least since Link's uh, Link to the Past, sorry. So, how this one's going to work is a chest's going to uh, appear at some somewhere uh, at the very end. And you've got to get to it, but as you move forward, blocks are going to come up. And it's kind of just a game of luck. You're quickly trying to work your way and find the right path. Uh, again, the bunny hood really, really helps with this, um, but still, it can be a little bit tricky. So, what we're gonna do? Switch to Goron because as a Goron, you'll get the best prize. Can you guess what it is? I'm sure you can. So, charge you more though. You'll pay twenty rupees as Link. And 30 rupees is a Goron, I think like 5 or 10 rupees is a Deku scrub. And I think the prize for Link's like 50 rupees, Deku scrubs, some of shit, I, I don't know. Yeah, we're on a time limit as well. So this could be really annoying actually. Let's see if I can do it first time. Right, so. It's random as to where the chest is going to appear and what path you need to take it. So, no, let's just quickly switch back to uh, Bunnyhood Link. Let's see if I can get there. I can be really annoyed at this. It might look like I'm heading the right direction, but. Not always the case, see? The actual path could be right on the other side. And I did it. Okay. As I said, the bunny hood just... What a mask! What a goddamn mask! Yep, of course the prize is a piece of heart. As I said, that's only available uh, as a Goron. Well, at least if you speak to the woman as a Goron. So that is, I believe, piece number 18. Alright. 
Yeah, managed that first time actually. Thought it might take two or three tries possibly. The girl who likes macho men. Well, go on, isn't the man, is it? Anyway. No, your game's rubbish. Worse than the stinking bomb to you, Ali, back in Hyrule. Now that thing was a disgrace. I had problems with that denying me or green and time walk through. That really annoyed me. What do you want, you little shit? I will kick you in the face right now. Alright, um, I'll tell you what. I need, now need 200 rupees, so rather than taking more out the uh, bank, because I still need to be saving money up. Uh, we'll go get this silver rupee from the chest. Might as well. Alright, and with that in hand, we are going to go back to Goron Village. See if there's another warp point in the village, but there isn't. And the elder's frozen again. Oh well. Why isn't Tingle frozen over? Alright, so we go down here. Remember the uh, business scrub we've seen previously? Well, we'll have a chat with him. Right, so he's doing business and he's focused on Goron clientele. Alright. You can't do business with me. Stinking human. My Hylian. Again, very racist. Discriminating against me. So, no problem. Goes a Goron. Special trade, huh? The biggest bomb bag. Thou thousand what? Ah, look at that. We do a trade. The big bomb bag and 200 rupees. You got yourself a deal. And that is going to net you the biggest bomb bag. So, uh, 40 bombs. Um, so, yeah, you need to have got the big bomb bag for that. Uh, which you get it when um, you save the woman. In North Clock Town. But what is it? Um, is it midnight of the first day? Or well, whatever I did back then, and then the, get the big bomb bag from the bomb store, because it'll be in stock once you've saved the woman. Um, otherwise, you'll just get the big bomb bag here, and then you'll have to. I think you have to do it. You have to give him another 200 rupees again? I think so. I think you still get it. Anyway, point is, got the biggest bomb bag. Can I have too many bombs? Oh. A shit out of that, I will. Actually, a nice little spin round here. Get some rupees out the snowballs. Actually, roll up uh, steep ramps as a Goron. All right, so to finish off with, can I make our way now to the temple? That's our next objective. Don't know what we can do for now. Now we're gonna save this place. It's a lot of fun rolling around at full speed. Just what we're going to do here right now to get over these ramps we've seen previously. Watch over the ice keys. Alright. Again, we're going full speed. 
Be able to smash straight through the snowballs. Right, this one's a little tricky to hit. There we go. Oh, not too bad. I'm pretty good at falling off there. So there it is. There is the second temple, Snowhead. And thankfully as well, we have got an owl statue. Very easy warp here. Not just yet. Right, so was this the blizzard that killed Damani? Blew him off, right? Let's see how what we do now is uh, bring out the old lens of truth. It's a giant Goron. It's a bigger on. It's him that's causing this. I won't stand for this. Yeah, he can blow you straight off, so I just want to get Ganon here to him. And then we want to play the Goron's Lullaby. And there you go. I think he plummeted to his death. Well, probably not, but he deserves it. So yeah, him taken care of. Can okay, now back up here. Yeah. Watch out for those. You can punch him if you get your timing right. Maybe you feel daring. Smash through him with a roll. Yeah, your punch attack. Pretty, pretty powerful actually, more powerful than Link's uh, sword. Oh, 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 oh. I just want to follow this uh, spiral path up. Again, feeling brave, roll on up. I won't because I know for a fact I'll come flying off. It's only a thin path. Shot of the moon right there. It looks, it looks bigger. And in we go. Snowhead Temple. Alright, I means that we're probably gonna be attacked by a white bull. Let's punch the shit out of him. Slam your arse in the face, and I'll do the job. Alright, we're going to save point right here. So, that is going to do it for this part here, guys. So, of course, next time, we're going to be uh, beginning the second temple of the game, Snowhead. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.